So we've been able to do section views in the past videos, but let's do an aligned section view. A bit more to that. Let's go into it now. So let's go ahead and start making a new part here. I'm going to activate a sketch with the XY plane. Then I'll make a line from here over to here. Go vertical. We'll take a step down just like that. Good. Now we'll grab an equal. And we'll make sure that our two vertical lines are equal here. And our two horizontal lines are equal here. We'll grab a dimension and we'll give this a distance of one. We'll give this a distance of two. And we'll give this a height of two. So just like that, we'll want to make sure that we are horizontal with the origin and we're fully constrained. To activate the sketch, we'll give it a revolve and specify the center axis. From here, I can open up my whole tool and perhaps I'll give this a counter bore. Just like that. Make sure that this is vertical. And I can give this a dimension of something like 1.5. We'll say OK to that. And now I can choose a new surface to put a hole on. And maybe I'll give this a countersunk hole. Just like that. And I can use a line to get very accurate with my clock angle. And I'll say something like 10 degrees different, maybe 15. Next, we'll OK that. And we'll go with a circular pattern. Perhaps I want this hole to have five instances around. And I'll go with another circular pattern. Where I want this hole to have perhaps three instances around. I'll go with three for now and we'll say OK. So let's say that we want to draw this part. Let's first save it. And then I'll send to and make a drawing. Next. Let's orient this so that we're looking down on the holes. And there's a few things that we can do, right? First off, I can make sure that I have my hole callouts checked. And when I say OK to that, and I place my drawing, the drawing automatically puts in the hole information that the manufacturer will need to know for those kinds of holes. That's great. But next, maybe we want a section view of our holes. And the problem is, If I go to make a section view, there's not that clean of a way to create a section line. I suppose that you can make a line go through both holes, but that could be a problem. Is there a better way that we can get a section view? And I would suggest yes. So first, I'll sketch out an arc that goes from there to there. I'll sketch a line here and I'll grab a vertical and make sure that my line here is vertical. I'll make a line coming off of here. We'll grab a coincident and make sure that our line is coincident onto the origin. Perhaps I can make the end of this line cocentric and then continue the line onward. Again, we'll choose a collinear relation to make these on the same line. So I've created a profile that goes through both holes. So if I wish to display the center of both holes in one section view, we now are able to do that. I can go to Sheets and Views, choose Aligned Section View, and choose my sketch here. And just like a regular section view, I can choose which side I'm looking at. I'll have the arrows point left. And there is the section view of both holes at their centers. So that is a handy way to be able to show many features in one single section view. And that's how we do the aligned section view. And there's even more view options to come. See you then.